Yo right, guys and uh, welcome to the second part of the tutorial. Um, now I'm going to be covering how to make your text enter in the um, sort of type in sequence. So what I want to do first is, I'm just going to highlight this so you can actually see it properly. It comes over to my grenade and we'll expand the, um, expand the properties and do animate and then we want to do your opacity. On our first keyframe we want to set it to zero. Um, yeah, set it to zero. And then we want to open up our range selector. We want to make a keyframe for offset and leave that at zero as well. Scrub through for the duration, you want it to come over, so I'm going to say about five seconds. And then you want to expand the offset to 100%. Now, as you can see, it types the text in, which is pretty cool. Um, to achieve this effect on everything, you want to copy the animator. And then you just want to highlight each one and paste it into there. Now, as you can see on my whole comp, over the duration of five seconds, they will type themselves in. So we've achieved that effect quite successfully. And now it's time to get on and animate it so um, the other bits and bobs happen. Oops, I didn't mean to pause that, guys. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to expand our number mask. Fucking, why are so many people on, coming on MSN today? It's so annoying. Like, all my videos just had, ooh, it's just signed in. Ooh, it's just signed in. So go away. Um, anyway, let's get on with this. We want to add another animator. And this one we want to select character offset. Um, on this, we want to choose where we want the offset to start. So I'm going to do it when about four of the letters have just came, four of the numbers have just came in, sorry. And you're going to alt-click on it. You're going to type in this expression, wiggle, W-I-G-G-L-E, bracket. And you want to put 0 0.3, comma, 35, close bracket, and click off. Now, as you see, as I scrub through, we get this effect, which is pretty cool. So all our numbers are changing. So with that achieved, we can uh, now get on to offsetting these. Because obviously, throwing this, you don't want all of them to come on at the same time, do we? So I'm going to just press V to select my select tool and just offset everything by about three seconds of each other with the grenade coming in first. So now we have grenade coming in, distance coming in, and then the actual numbers coming in. So yeah, that's just um, sort of boosted the appearance of everything. Um, what I'm going to do with this is set it into its own comp. So you're going to, I'm going to shift click from the top one to the bottom text. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to pre compose the layer. And I'm going to call it, um, just, I'm just going to call it grenade text. So now as you go through, everything comes on at the time that I've specified it to. Okay, I'm just going to pause quickly because someone just said that it was on MSN. I have no idea. Right, um, so I've closed MSN, so I'm not going to be distracted anymore, guys. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come up to layer, do new, and do another solid. We're going to call this grid, um, sake, keep it the same size as the comp, and we're going to effects and presets over here and type in grid in the top. Um, then we're going to take this one from generate grid, and we're just going to apply that to the layer, and it's going to give us this. Um, what you want to do is just shrink it, so it fits inside the square and you're going to put it behind the text layer but in front of the HUD layer and um, in front of the grenade sorry as well actually no you're going to leave the grenade in front of it so when the text and everything tops over the top of it it looks pretty cool like that you see um, so far as you can see we've got our grenade, we've got it flying through the air we've got it all doing the um, stuff so now it's time to do the fun bit start adding some nice effects in so one second guys I'm just going to find my files and then I'm going to come back and show you what to do right, right, sorry about that my um, After Effects decided to be an idiot um, pretty much uninstalled itself so I had to reinstall it again um, what we're going to do now because I forgot it is we're going to make the fatality layer so what we're going to do is come over to our text tool again and we're just going to type in fatality in the middle or whatever you want, you can have like target neutralized or whatever. And then we're just gonna make increase the size quite significantly, so it's about third, uh, a bit bigger than that actually. I'm gonna use about 48 pixels. Uh, come over to our tools, select tool, and just bring it into the middle. Then line it up with the grid so it looks nice, and type in strobe on the effects presets. 
and drag the strobe light onto it. Now we want it to strobe red um, and we want it also to st strobe duration to be one, about 0 0.75 seconds and then the period to be for about 125. So now as you can see it comes on and off quite quickly so that's pretty cool. Um, again we want to put in the text effect so if you need to refresh your memory do your opacity and then your opacity at zero range selector and then your keyframe for offset move it along and then you can bring it up to 100 percent and then i'm just going to notch that back so it types in quite quickly okay guys so um now it's time for the fun part actually adding the effects in so from the action essentials package i've got explosion one charge 12 bounce one and blood splatter five so if any of you guys have got the um, the package, then feel free to use these effects, as this is what I use to achieve it. Um, what I'm going to do is just bring these along to around the time where it happens. And basically what I'm going to tell you guys here is, once you've actually made the grenade at the floor, the time it's rolling is what I'm going to call sort of the fuse time. And obviously you can put the position on it so it looks like it actually carries on rolling forward while it's on the floor. Alright, so what I'm going to do first is have the explosion going off. So just click out of them and we want the explosion going off around about I'm gonna have it going off at about 32 seconds. Um, behind the explosion I want the charge to happen shortly after just to give it some more depth and some bouncing debris at about 33 seconds. So as we scrub through we get it to go sort of boom and then all these sparks and stuff start flying off. To make it look more realistic I'm gonna click on the explosion and come to where it actually starts and then we're going to shrink the comp down to around where the actual thing is so this way our explosion is sort of in the frame rather than being out of it and looking so unrealistic it's unbelievable so we'll have that and then we're going to bring it over to where the charge is and we're going to shrink that down as well so nothing comes out of the side of the um, HUD. And then finally, we're going to have some debris smashing across the floor. So for the debris, we're going to do the same thing, shrink it down significantly, put it to the floor where it belongs. And then this way, we're going to have this boom, a nice shatter of debris. And then we're going to have the blood splatter on the screen. So to end it, We'll have the blood splatter here, and then what we're going to do is sorry, we're going to minimize this layer. We're going to come to the end of where the actual picture is, and we're going to not the grid, what's about how bad? Um, JPEG. We're going to bring this back, and then where the animation is where it starts we want it to cut out so after the explosion finishes the grenade won't be there anymore which it still is at the moment so when it's engulfed we're going to bring this back and say turn it off here so this means now when it goes grenade's gone man dies so we're going to have the blood splatter coming on here and you want the blood splatter to be sort of like here on the screen and maybe you want it down a little bit so it doesn't go on the outside of the HUD you're completely your choice but there we go um, if you want it to look a little bit more realistic I'll just put it right down here so the text is in front of it and it looks like it's just splattered on the screen um, if you want to make it look a little bit more realistic like because the brightness of this fire is a bit pretty intense what you can do is go into the effect come onto the curves, um, bring it down a little bit and now it's a little bit more orangey. Um, you can do the same with the blood and the charge, whatever you want to do really. Uh, just really make it your own, sort of uh, spice it up to your sort of liking. There's no set rules of guidance on this, it's just pretty much have fun with it guys. And um, yeah, I'm going to render it out now, show you a lot, show you a lot of it um, playing in full motion. And then I'm just going to leave the download link for these um, effects so you can put them into your video. 
Uh, I'll be back with you in a second, guys, and I'll show you it when it's ready. All right, guys. So I just put the um, render through uh, Vegas a couple of times to make it a bit faster. Uh, just to put it up into slow, uh, fast motion. So here's the finished thing. Well, I think it looks average, but tell me what you think, and hopefully yours looks better. All right, here we go. So I think maybe it's a bit too fast, but as you can see, we have the explosion, all the particles coming off after the blood splat and your flashing fatality and um, yeah that's pretty cool so I hope this tutorial has been useful to all of you if it has then be sure to um, subscribe because there's a lot more coming especially on requests because it's getting hard for me to decide what to make for you guys um, on my own I'm sort of just doing it on my own accord thinking what you guys would like to see so um, yeah any anything you guys can uh, think of give me a shout and I'll do my best to get around to making it obviously I can't make everything on After Effects but if you uh, recommend something, I'm sure I can get around to doing it. Um, yeah, just thanks for watching, guys. Uh, have a good day. Peace.